your application is expected to send notifications, you might want to learn how to send an SMS. It could be for sending an OTP. In this video, I'll show you how you can send SMSs in our systems. So this is my service studio. I'm inside a reactive web application and I have an entity called customer. Now for the good news, in our systems in Forge, there are already components that are available that can help you with sending SMSs. For example, nowadays it's very common to have API based SMS uh, gateways or SMS APIs available. One of the most popular is Twilio, Twilio connector. And the connector is already available as you can see here. It allows you to send SMSs, it allows you to make voice calls, video calls, and it's quite powerful. So we're going to use this plugin in our application to send out an SMS. Maybe we can send an SMS when a new customer is created or updated, something like this. So for that, uh, let me add a reference to Twilio first. So I'm inside the web app now. I'm back in the application and look for Twilio. Twilio. Twilio connector is here. And as I was saying, it gives you a lot of capabilities, for example, calling, messaging, and so on and so forth. There are many things that you can do. Uh, for as the purpose of this video we're going to send sms okay so this one is here twilio simple message it has a from to in case you're sending media and the message the sms so let's add a reference to it and apply it's very straightforward to use by the way next uh to to we need to build the necessary screens to trigger the sms sending part so i'm dragging and dropping the entity for customer to build the usual listing and detail screen for customer there you go. I don't intend to do much changes in whatever default I'm getting here, but I do want to modify the logic for saving a customer where that's when I want to send the SMS. So imagine when the customer is created here, that's when we'll call the Twilio. So you can open it, SMS or message, this message I think, call Twilio simple message. In case you can't find it here, uh, after adding a reference, all the um, server actions will appear under server actions and Twilio connector here. You can also just drag and drop this from here. Now, once you have drag and drop this here in the flow, you have to provide the properties, the information that is required, for example, from to. Now, some of these settings like from can also be defaulted in the uh, site settings of the, in the this plugin. I'll show you in a while what I mean. Let's look into two. So this one, let me key in any phone number. Uh, plus six, five, something, something. And if you have media URL, you can send that. Uh, important is always to use the country code with this kind of symbol. There's some uh, help there, some instructions on how to do it. And then the message. Now message is something, is something I can make it dynamic. So I can say uh, customer, let's have a space plus ID plus has been created. Or updated because we're using the same screen and that will be our sms the text of the sms and done uh, by the way that's it that's how you send an sms now while it's publishing uh, an important part is Twilio is not a free service you need to register an account for it and uh, then it will give you an account id or something like that that you have to provide in the Twilio plugin here uh, let me show you what you can do though uh, Twilio also provides a free trial account in case you're just testing it. You can set up a free account and use it in application. It may have some limitations though. I'll include this link in the uh, description of the video so you can figure it out. Uh, once you have that account ID, what you need to do is go to your service center, find the application for Twilio Connected, open it. Uh, this actually has a demo also, but this was the connector from where I was using that uh, simple message sending part. So open the module and in the module here under site properties, you should provide those parameters. Okay, so they can do. Earlier, the from field, you can also default it so you don't have to declare it every time you use that Twilio call or SMS. It can always be defaulted to one single from. But this account ID is the important one that you have to provide. Now in my other part, I already have this. So uh, I have a paid account of Twilio. I can add those information and then, then it works perfectly fine. So to test it out, let's launch the application. Even though I added a dummy phone number. If I come here, I should be able to create a new customer and have it done. I can, for example, open existing one. I don't have to provide entire information and click on save. 
let me pause the video just so that I can connect my phone. So let's go ahead and click on save. I'm expecting an SMS to be received at my phone. Let's see if it does. And there you go. Customer one has been created or updated. That was the SMS that I wrote. Thanks for watching.